There it is. Oh man. <laughs> Those sounds, man. Good times. I'm gonna keep the music up. New game. Uh, I guess the lat. Oh, <laughs> I should probably not have so many slots. Uh, this one then. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Oh no, I have to fix all of the controls again. Oh god, no. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Okay. Um, I'll probably do some sort of intro just to introduce the game. Uh, I'm going to be fixing the controls for a bit uh, so that things aren't um, inverted because I don't like the inverted controls even when I used to play it on the PlayStation 2. But this is Ratchet and Clank, the original original. Um, in order to actually play it the way it was back in the day and not some remake or anything, I had to get an emulator working on my computer that could play PlayStation 2 games. Which, honestly, I might do some sort of tutorial on how to get that working, but I'm not really sure it's necessary since it's actually a really easy setup. Uh, if you'd like me to, let me know in the comments section below. Um, I'm not sure what I'll be able to actually do with this series, as a lot of it is copyrighted material, uh, especially the music, and I'm not turning it down. I refuse to. Uh, mainly because I was 13 when this game first came out, and I probably had it and owned it on the actual PlayStation 2 when I was 15. Around about by the time I was 15 at least. I'm 32 now. Feel old yet? I know I do. But this game means a lot to me. It means so much to me. It's like some 40-year-old guy telling you back in the day when he used to play Super Mario Bros. with his brothers and sisters and when cheat codes used to really mean something. Uh, back when cheat codes were in, you know, the little pamphlet books and not just, you couldn't just Google stuff. I'm talking like the original, uh, not even Super Mario Bros., just maybe Mario Bros. and then Super Mario Bros. Like, I can't, this, is, this was one of my earliest PlayStation 2 games, if we're not going back to like the Twisted Metal series and Spyro the Dragon, which honestly I wouldn't mind doing a few videos on those, but that's going to be a situation that I'll do later on for maybe a nostalgia week, or every now and again maybe a day where I just play an old game, because uh, you can't just have old games on your channel, 
that's not really gonna people might not really see that so I'm gonna mix this in with my regular content or maybe not I don't know I've uh, convinced myself that this isn't really for YouTube it's not really for an audience it's for not even for my personal friends it's for all of you it's for everybody but the main reason I'm doing it is for me um, it would mean a lot to me if I look back on this in 10 15 years time and I've actually played the game all the way through properly the way it used to be back in the day um, even if it's not perfect even if I can't do it perfectly I just want to be able to play it to completion get all the weapons beat the game uh, zip my lip during the cutscenes so I don't interrupt them um, this is for me in the future it just means so much to me uh, I was just getting into high school when this game came out um, it's my it's part of my childhood so I really wanted to do a let's play of it and if some of my friends see it and they like it too uh, that would mean a lot to me I spent hundreds of hours as a kid on this I mean gosh I, I could go on for ages about the games I used to play and maybe someday I will but for now I figure I'll start with this one because it is definitely got to be at least in my top five favorites of all time maybe top three yeah it means that much to me but I'm gonna get a glass of ice water um, because this house is always burning hot and then fix these controls and I'll be right back okay that should fix the controls uh, let's get right back into it then okay this way and then this way okay okay I'm feeling it yeah there we go oh boy that's great that's great okay maybe I should turn down the music a little bit I don't know it's probably still gonna get caught it's probably still gonna get caught here I'll do let's do a medium let's do a medium okay that and then exit the audience can still hear it. listen to when the bolts come in oh, that sound is so nostalgic and obviously I'm, I'm not gonna play it perfectly I was playing on one of my other files earlier and uh, I did get knocked out so that that kinda sucks I'm like what I'm supposed to be a professional I'm supposed to be the greatest at this game I played it for years but you know no matter how good you are at any game that you played since your childhood there's always the option of getting KO'd you know it happens it happens but it's still so much fun to just come back to the old original um, let's see let me explain a few things Ratchet is a Lombax in case you haven't already known about the series uh, he's a type of alien species and he's the last of his kind um, and obviously the character I'm talking about is, is uh, this guy his name is Ratchet uh, he's a Lombax last of his kind that he knows of at least for now um, well I don't know about spoiler alerts the game is ages old but um, let's just say he thinks he's the only Lombax so that's a type of alien species and these bolts that he's collecting well they're bolts I've got 377 of them right now they're used as currency in his galaxy and many other galaxies you can interrupt help desk messages by pressing the phone button to disable help desk messages then select options from your pause menu oh I'm gonna love this playthrough I really hope it comes through on the emulator and on Bandai Cam's recording because I think I did a test recording um, I think uh, about a week ago and it did not come through very well uh, however I had been drinking so I don't know if that maybe messed up the settings or something like maybe I did something wrong to mess up the recording um, you know because I had been drinking and I wasn't within my best of performances but aside from that man this is great um, something I should probably mention again before the game gets going that I tried to mention the last time but I wasn't really ready yet is uh oh see you get hit every now and again um, they took a lot of cutscenes uh, out of this original game like for the remake uh, this game originally came out for the PlayStation 2 and uh, oh gosh I looked up how old this game is it's like 13 it's like 19 years old or something and okay I'll have to google it again Pardon. Hey Google! How old is Ratchet and Clank? Date was 
da 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 Say it again so the audience can hear it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey Google, how old is Ratchet and Clank? Ratchet and Clank is 19 years old. Its initial release date was 2002. Woo! Yeah, I did the math. I was like 13 when it came out, and I probably had it by 15. Uh, but it originally came out on the PlayStation 2, and they did a remake. Um, hey Google, how old is the remake on of Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation 3? I don't know if I'll get an answer to that one. Here's what I found. How old is the remake on the... Celebrating the evolution of... Oh my god. Ah, I dropped my phone! Whoopsie! Um... Okay. Oh god! There's so much going on. Celebrating the evolution of Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation. PlayStation and Razor Ratchet and Clank. Uh... 2016, I think. Yeah. Which was released for PlayStation... No, that's Rift of... PS3 Remastered versus the PS4 Remake. Yeah, they've got videos on it. You can look it up. It's whatever. They did a remake on the PlayStation um, 3. It was not good. I'm just going to put it like that. And yes, I know there was health back there, and I could easily get it. But we've got other things we need to do, and there'll be more HP. Oh. Oh, shoot. I interrupted the help desk. Um, they're telling me about the bomb glove. Uh, I'll pretend. You can use the bomb glo a glove by pressing the triangle button. When the rectangle appears, press the circle button to fire. A devastating blast. Got him! <laughs> and there's the ammo for it. So you break crates, you get ammo, you collect bolts, and it's the greatest game ever! <laughs> nope. Oh! He got me! I love how it auto targets to them as well. You just picked up nanotech. Whenever you see the enter it, let Gadgetron's patented nanotech system rebuild your body from the inside out. I wonder if I should turn the volume up. I think it's fine. The help desk is just a little low. I mean, everything's exactly as it was back in the day. I'm not saying anything's changed. Like this emulator is hundred percent like you just booted it up on the PlayStation 2 again. It's exactly as it was. Cutscene coming up, I'm gonna shut up. Interesting. You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizen Zoth. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreg, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas, but of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! <laughs> the people on those planets are hoes! <laughs> well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. 
the robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you, you need. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Oh, oh. Uh, Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Ah. <sighs> oh. Oh. The cutscene was so long my controller went out again. Which reminds me, maybe I should charge it. The batteries that are. The, charge the batteries for the controller that is. Okay. So did it... It did. It saved. Oh man, that's awesome. Okay. Um, wow, my alarm's about to go off to let me know to take a break, uh, and start a new recording and check this recording, because I need to make sure that it actually, uh, came through alright. It might not have, uh, because of the different frame rates from the time then, and now the frame rates of the recording now, and also a lot of de-interlacing. I think there's something going on with the de-interlacing, where as I move, you can see a... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to point it out. Uh, maybe maybe people won't notice it. <laughs> but anyway, um, they removed so much in the PS3 remake of the game, which by itself is a good game, so I'm not going to... I'm going to try not to, you know, hate on it too hard, uh, because by itself it would have made a good game, but um, in ref... It, like, they took three of the original starting games and smushed them into one, changed the characters, changed the rela uh, changed the relation between Ratchet and Clank so that they they don't have any uh, dynamics. Uh, they just, uh, in the remake, it's just, hey, you want to save the world? Yeah, let's save the world. Boom, we get along immediately. There's no group dynamics between the two of them. In this game, they, they, they have personality. Uh, uh, Clank, for one thing, has his own agenda that he would like to complete. In the remake, he's just, he's, he's barely even mentioned. They don't even have, he doesn't have a plot, he doesn't have his own agenda, he doesn't have his own thought pattern, he doesn't care what happens, he just goes with Ratchet to save the world, that's it. Done. Um, they don't argue at all in the remake. In the original, they actually have a few uh, clashes, they butt heads a few times, and that creates a dynamic where it gives you a reason for, you know, hey, I hope these, pe I hope these characters get along, I, I care about them now, uh, I want to see them actually resolve their differences. It gives you a subplot, um, and again, I'm not a storyteller, I don't know if subplot is the right terminology there, and it's probably not. 
But they ruined all of the characters. Um, they tried to make Captain Quark a hero, uh, which I'm hoping that in the remake, maybe it's just Captain Quark's tale, and he made all of it up, which I think he actually did. I have a few Let's Plays of the remake on my channel that I never actually finished because um, it didn't get any views at all because uh, people hated it. Uh, it was reviewed poorly, it came out poorly, it wasn't really that great of a game, but the gameplay was there. Um, they just should have stuck to the original, but um, there I can't say enough about the differences between the remake and the original. This is the original. It's amazing. I'm gonna play it on my channel hopefully to completion but I need to check and make sure that this first uh, episode came out okay and is doing alright uh, I'm gonna do a manual save Bars. just to be sure Bars. Eight, six, six, zero, 08 minutes uh, I better yeah Select, Bars. overwrite yes Bars. okay yeah yeah I definitely needed to do that uh, but um I hope someone out there enjoyed this video if you did consider subscribing I'm not sure this isn't really on the channel for views uh, this game is so old <laughs> playthroughs of it have already been done uh, and it's on an emulator but this is uh, for me uh, I hope me and my friends are enjoying watching this in the future uh, and until next time take it easy my friends